Hi, I'm Jason Hudson from Tanzig Technology, and today we're going to be subscribing to and setting up a Windows 365 cloud PC in the Microsoft Azure cloud. There are two versions of cloud PC, Enterprise and Business. Enterprise cloud PCs are designed for organizations who have invested into Microsoft Endpoint Manager and are using this powerful platform to manage their existing physical Windows 10 desktops. Enterprise cloud PCs require an Intune license for each user who is assigned a cloud PC M365 SKU. Business cloud PCs, on the other hand, are designed for individual users and very small businesses who typically go to their local Best Buy when they need a new PC. Now, instead of visiting Best Buy, they can go to Microsoft and subscribe to a new cloud PC and have it ready to use in an hour. Business cloud PCs do not require an Intune license and are managed entirely by the user, similar to a standalone physical PC. Once we've set up our cloud PC, we'll demonstrate connections to it from my local PC via the browser and from one of Tenzig's most popular platforms, the Windows IoT-based 6010Q. The Tenzig 6000Q series is a flexible, powerful quad-core dual 4K display workhorse and can be seen on the Tenzig website for more information. To start with, I'm going to take you through the steps required to purchase a subscription to a business cloud PC. To do this, inside my browser, I'm going to navigate to www.microsoft.com slash enus slash windows365 slash business slash configure. This is where you'll be presented with a configuration screen that enables you to choose the number of vCPUs, RAM and storage that will be allocated to your cloud PC. The default options are quite basic, but by making a simple selection change such as upgrading to two vCPUs, we now have the desktop versions of Office Apps, Outlook and OneDrive, and also Teams is available to us but we need to upgrade to eight gig of RAM to be able to take advantage of Teams with video and not just chat and audio calls. By choosing eight gig of RAM, notice that our base storage option is now 128 gig by default. If you're only planning on using your cloud PC from a Windows 10 Pro licensed device, then you can select the Windows hybrid benefit option. And this will give you an additional 16% discount for that particular cloud PC per month. Because we're accessing our cloud PC on a variety of different devices from Linux to Windows 10 IoT, we can't guarantee we'll be running our client primarily on Windows 10 Pro. So we'll answer no to this question. So just to check what we've selected, two vCPUs, 8 gig of RAM, 128 gig of storage, and we get access to desktop apps and Teams not limited to just audio and chat. Now that we're happy with this config, we click Buy Now in the summary on the right and wait for the Get Started screen to appear. Because I already have an account in the Azure AD, once I key in my email address, click Continue, sign in and then physically sign in, I'll be taken to the 365 admin center to check out my cloud PC purchase. If you don't have an Azure account, then you'll be asked to fill in the registration form before you complete your purchase of cloud PC. We'll just complete the sign in process and go to checkout. Now that we're in the 365 admin center, we click place order, and wait until we see the you're all set message to appear. Now we're ready to assign a user to our newly created cloud PC. Now we're going to find our newly licensed Windows 365 cloud PC in the Azure AD and then assign this license to my Tenzig user Jason H. If we navigate to admin.microsoft.com Click Billing 
and then licenses in the left menu we can see our Windows 365 Business Cloud PC listed and the configuration details we specified in our purchase order earlier on. If we click this license then we're taken into the assignment screen where I can choose to select my user and assign it to the cloud PC. Click assign licenses and then start typing the username you want to assign. When you have the correct user select it from the list and click assign. A few moments later I receive a notification showing that Jason Hudson now has a license for Windows 365 Business. In the next section I'll show you where to find your Windows 365 Cloud PC and we'll connect in via a local HTML5 browser session just to make sure we're up and running. Now that we've subscribed to our desired Windows 365 Business Cloud PC and assigned it successfully to our end user, we'll show you how to get access to the virtual machine via your browser to control it and then demonstrate a local browser connection to the desktop. Once we've done this, we'll move on to the main Tenzig 6010Q Thin Client Connection demonstration. Inside the browser, navigate to windows365.microsoft.com select your account and sign in. Once inside the Windows 365 portal you'll find your cloud PC that was assigned to your specific user earlier. Notice that you have some control over the behavior of the Azure VM such as the ability to restart, reset and rename the VM and also troubleshoot any issues that may occur during its runtime. We're going to connect to this VM just to make sure that it starts as expected and we have all the correct apps installed locally as per our subscription. We click open in browser key in my password and click submit. Once the desktop is loaded if we navigate to the start menu we can see all our office apps are available locally to the VM, which is good. And if we launch Teams, then this also appears to be running successfully. We'll disconnect from this session and move on to the main Tenzig 6010Q Thin Client Connection demonstration. Now we're going to demonstrate a connection into our Windows 365 Cloud PC via a remote desktop client running on the Tenzig 6010Q. Just to make things a little more interesting, I've created a secure desktop session for this part of the demonstration by using the Windows 10 IoT Shell Launcher version 2. This enables me to create an environment inside the shell that only runs a single application at login and nothing more. This can be done via Microsoft Endpoint Manager using a configuration profile and also via the Tenzig UWF wizard that comes as part of the standard Tenzig Windows client build. We'll include some links on how to set up a custom shell in the video description so you can see how simple it is to create this secure environment for your own client endpoints. After the kiosk user has logged in successfully, we're presented with a single remote desktop application that allows me to subscribe to the Tenzig Azure resources assigned to my user account. We need to click subscribe with URL and then key in the discovery feed URL named rdweb.wvd.microsoft.com slash api slash arm slash feed discovery. Alternatively, you can click subscribe and then key in your Azure user account to gain access to your resources. Once keyed in, I'm notified that workspaces have been found, so I click Next and select my user account. A few seconds later, I can see my Cloud PC Business VM listed as one of the resources available to my user. If I double click on this, key in my password 
and click OK and just wait a few seconds. My remote Windows 365 desktop appears and loads up really quickly. If we just take a quick look around, we can see that it performs as we'd expect it to. So we'll navigate to the start menu and just disconnect back to our workspace resource area. This concludes today's demonstration on subscribing to and setting up a Windows 365 Cloud PC in the Microsoft Azure Cloud. I hope you enjoyed the session and remember, if you have any questions regarding this or related topics, then please contact your Tenzig team or visit the website at www.tenzig.com.